Imagine being born in a country where you were rejected a passport and then growing up to carry that country's flag at the Olympics. That's not a Hollywood movie. For Yanis Antetokounmpo, this is reality. After this video, you should have a better idea why Yanis was so emotional after making the Paris Olympics. It all comes down to how much shit he had to go through until that point. Antetokounmpo's parents, Veronica and Charles, were struggling to find work in Nigeria, so in 1991 they decided to search for a better life elsewhere. First they set off to Germany, where Charles planned to play professional football. A career-ending injury quickly changed those plans and the Nigerian couple had to improvise, ending up in Greece. In 1994, their third son, Yanis Antetokounmpo, was born. Well, unlike in the United States or some other countries, being born in Greece does not automatically mean you are a Greek citizen. Growing up, they didn't have much money, struggled with putting food on the table, so Yanis, at the age of six, started selling items on the street to help his family. He, alongside his brother Thanasis and their mother Veronica, would buy cheap items from poorer neighborhoods and then sell them for profit in a more wealthy area. He quickly learned to be a persuasive street vendor, turning on his charm and making people buy things they didn't really need. Not according to young Yanis, of course. Food is one thing, but shelter wasn't promised either. And Tetokumpos were evicted more times than they could remember. As Tanasis recalled it, it happened at least three times. So now you got the picture of the survivalist childhood that Yanis went through. Besides that, Yanis and the whole Antetokounmpo family was seen as aliens in Greece, in many different ways. First of all, Yanis and his brothers were literally stateless, living in Greece but not really belonging anywhere as the Greek government didn't recognize them as citizens and they didn't have Nigerian passports either. Secondly, Greece is predominantly white in their population and as the Antetokounmpo's remember, they faced racism on many occasions. Being called derogatory names or hearing remarks such as go back to your own country only reinforced the feeling of being unwanted in Greece. At the same time, it built Yanis a thick skin and a character to persevere no matter what circumstances he was in. Basketball then would become the game changer but it took many years of uncertainty to become accepted in Greece. Starting from the beginning, Yanis didn't really dream of becoming a basketball player at first. Looking up to his dad, Yanis aspired to be a pro footballer as well. In fact, Yanis only picked up basketball when he was already 13 years of age. The story goes that Yanis and his brothers were playing tag outside when a local basketball coach, Spiros Veliniatis, approached them and literally proposed this. If I find work for your parents, it would be 500 years euros a month, will you play basketball for me? At that point, Yanis had no interest in the sport. Family was the only reason Yanis considered listening to this strange man who kept approaching him and his brothers. He also wanted to be like Tanasis, so when basketball meant spending more time with him, Yanis decided to give it a try. And while NBA fans now often call Tanasis a journeyman who only has an NBA contract due to Yanis, you could say that without Tanasis, the Greek freak might have never turned to basketball in the first place. Before I go into the issues that Yanis faced as a basketball player, a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Hostinger. There's many options for designing websites, but Hostinger has done the work to make this experience as simple as possible. Try out 150 designer-made templates that are fully customizable, or even better, just use Hostinger's AI website builder. It lets you use a text prompt and get started in less than a minute. And then you don't even need to think about some external company to host the website with, it's all available at the same spot, plus you get your domain for free. Check out the link in the description and with our code BNews10 you'll get 10% off of all hosting plans. Coming back to the video, Coach Veliniatis, who discovered the brothers, worked as an assistant coach for a mediocre Greek basketball club, Philatlitikos. There, the future NBA great started his basketball career and although he was really raw at that point, eventually started filling out his body and became a huge prospect by the time he was 17. But let's not forget about Yanis' status at that point. The statelessness screwed him over in a huge way. He couldn't get a Greek passport, which meant he couldn't play abroad or even be recognized as a local player in Greek clubs. Opportunities to showcase his skills to the NBA scouts? 
unavailable. At one point, his NBA dreams were on the line because he couldn't get a US visa to attend the draft. His whole career was in jeopardy before it even started because of bureaucracy. In 2012, when Giannis was still grinding it out in the second Greek division, he had a deal lined up with Zaragoza in Spain. But guess what? He couldn't travel outside Greece without a passport, hence the team's GM, Willy BR, came to see Giannis in Greece. During a private workout, Giannis was so nervous that BR thought he looked more like a prospect for the Harlem Globetrotters. But when game time came, Giannis showed up and showed out, playing like his life depended on it. Because it pretty much did. One day after Antetokounmpo turned 18, a four-year deal with Saragossa was signed. A few months later, the Milwaukee Bucks decided to take a chance on Giannis, eyeing to draft him 15th overall in 2013. But he was still stuck without citizenship. The Greek Basketball Federation, his agents and coaches fought hard to get him his papers. They lobbied local authorities and even got the Greek Prime Minister involved. It was a real uphill battle, especially since Greece was dealing with a financial crisis and a ton of political BS about illegal immigration. The process was slow and frustrating, once again just reflecting on the uncertainty Yanis faced his whole life. There was even talk about Yanis getting Spanish citizenship or playing for Nigeria. The Greek government only started speeding up the process when they realized that Yanis had NBA potential and could represent Greece on the international stage. Yanis and Thanasis finally got their Greek citizenship on May 9th of 2013, just 39 days before the NBA draft. On one hand, it was a celebration for the Antetokounmpo family, on the other, his younger brothers were still technically stateless. For them to be able to obtain a visa to the US, Costas and Alex got Nigerian passports. What's crazy to note here, Costas was granted his Greek citizenship in 2016, while Yanis's mother Veronica and youngest brother Alex received theirs only in 2021. That's the year Yanis won the NBA championship with the Bucks. Sadly, Yanis's dad Charles passed away in 2017 in Milwaukee. Since we're all aware of how Giannis's career unraveled in the NBA, I would like to shift my focus to the national team now. His time there wasn't smooth sailing either. Giannis made his debut for the national team in 2014 at the FIBA World Cup in Spain. Greece actually lost just a single game, but since that loss came in the round of 16, they finished 9th overall. 20-year-old Giannis showed flashes of his potential, averaging 6 points and 4 rebounds a game in 16 minutes of play. As expected in the 2015, in Eurobasket, Giannis stepped up his game with almost 10 points and 7 boards a game. Greece made it to the quarterfinals, lost and finished 5th. Giannis's defensive skills were on full display and he started to establish himself as a key player for Greece. Fast forward to the 2016 FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament in Italy, where Greece failed to secure a spot in Rio Olympics. It was a tough pill to swallow, especially for Giannis who dreamed of representing Greece at the Olympic Games. Despite his best efforts, he couldn't carry the team alone. He was averaging about 15 points and 6 rebounds a game, showing that he was able to transfer his growing NBA game to the FIBA court. A knee injury then kept him out of the 2017 Eurobasket, where Greece got eliminated in the quarterfinal again, so next up was the 2019 FIBA World Cup in China. Yet another challenging tournament as Greece had high hopes but finished 11th. Giannis was the reigning NBA MVP at this point and the expectations were high with Greece being ranked in the top 5 before the tournament. While the Greek freak averaged 15 points, 9 rebounds and 2.5 assists per game, the team couldn't make a deep run missing some key players. It was another learning experience leading into Giannis's second chance to make the Olympics. The only issue was that due to Covid, the NBA postseason in 2021 was running overtime and Giannis was still competing in the Eastern Conference Finals while Greece fought for their ticket to the Tokyo Olympics. Greece couldn't get it done and while Giannis managed to win the NBA chip, he once again missed out on the Olympic Games. The return to the national team happened in 2022 Eurobasket. There we saw a much more mature and determined Giannis. Into the half court, puts it on the floor, down the lane, oh! Incredible beast! 
27 and a half points, 10 and a half rebounds and two and a half assists per game. And again, Greece making it to the quarterfinals. While he was unstoppable, the Greeks lacked shooters around Yanis and they were knocked out by Germany. Similarly to 2017, Yanis missed the 2023 FIBA World Cup due to a surgery to his knee. Without him, Greece got eliminated before reaching the knockout stage, finishing 15th. All right, so now we get to the 2024 Olympic qualifying tournament that was hosted in Greece. The Greek freak made his return to the national team and although he was playing limited minutes, Greece breezed through their opponents, beating Croatia in the final and securing a ticket to the 2024 Paris Olympics. It was a moment Greek basketball fans had been waiting for since 2008, as Greece hadn't qualified to the Olympics for 16 years. But for Yanis, this was a moment he waited for his whole lifetime and the viral video of his emotions on the bench is a beautiful moment. A beautiful moment that I hope you can relate to much more now after hearing about the long and restless journey the Greek freak had to go through. The best part of it is that Yanis' story is far from over. He is set to carry the Greek flag during the opening ceremony, becoming the first black athlete to do so for Greece. A journey from being rejected to carrying the hopes and dreams of the entire nation. I don't know if you can write a better story than this, but if I was to write the next chapter, I would love to see Yanis on the podium, achieving one more dream and bringing Olympic medals to Greece. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which part of Yanis' story surprised you the most? Also, how far do you see Greece going in the 2024 Paris Olympics? <laughs> Drop a like on this video and also subscribe because you can get this Yanis Antetokounmpo jersey once we hit 150,000 subs and select a random subscriber to win it. Good luck to Yanis and Greece and I'll see you in the next one.